Unlike storytelling, which can dramatize or oversimplify, cause telling traces the actual chain of events, domino by domino. In this video, we'll explore how mapping causal chains reveals the true structure behind risk events and why getting it wrong can cost more than just a good story. It starts with a quiet crack underground, barely noticeable, but then like a line of dominoes, the consequences unfold. A ruptured pipe leads to a flooded building that turns into insurance claims, news crews, and reputational fallout. This isn't just bad luck. It's a chain of cause and effect. And if we can see the story early, we just might change the ending. Not all risks unfold the same way. Some stories are short, while others spiral. Causal chains can be simple or elaborate. The deeper we trace the chain, the better we understand the true cost of a single failure and where to intervene before things escalate. Causal chains aren't always neat and linear. Real-world risks often involve tangled paths, with multiple causes converging on a single event or one failure triggering a cascade of consequences. In reality, both converging and diverging chains can form around a single rupture. Missing those connections can leave blind spots in your risk analysis. Causal chains aren't just hindsight, they're foresight in disguise. At the center of every causal chain is the top event, the pivotal moment where things go wrong. It's also where two kinds of planning converge. On the left, we focus on prevention, how to stop the event from happening. On the right, we turn to mitigation, how to soften the consequences if it does. While every risk tells a story, it's the chain of causes behind it that enables smarter decision-making. Map it well, and you can avoid the rupture. Miss a link, and you're left managing the fallout. Causal chains help shift our mindset from reactive to proactive before consequences start piling up. In another video, we dive deeper into risk treatment. If causal chains are not mapped correctly, we risk misunderstanding how one event leads to another. Three common mistakes often occur. Oversimplifying the chain, misordering the sequence, or overlooking key links. In risk management, these errors can obscure root causes and result in flawed decisions. Let's explore how to avoid these pitfalls and build clearer, more effective causal chains. For data modeling and data management, there are two ways to think about a causal chain. Logic chains ask, what happens if? They move forward, using a series of if, then statements to model potential outcomes. Causal chains ask, what was this event due to? They work backward, tracing the origins of an outcome. By shifting the lens between forward-looking logic and backward-tracing causality, we uncover not just the outcomes, but the underlying drivers. Causal chains help us understand the story. Risk bow ties help us manage it. Mapping the chain is just the beginning. The real power comes in knowing where and how to intervene. Take the example of a ruptured pipe. It's not just a failure point. It's the pivot between cause and consequence. To the left, threats like aging infrastructure. To the right, fallout such as service disruption, unhappy customers, and internal strain. By overlaying the causal chain onto a bow tie, we shift from storytelling to strategy, highlighting the precise points where prevention and mitigation make the biggest impact. In our next video, we explore how risk bow ties build on causal chains to manage threats before and after the tipping point. Every broken pipe has deeper roots. Causal chains show us what happened. Root cause analysis reveals why. In another video, we dig beneath the surface using the five whys and the 6M method to uncover the true drivers behind failure and how to stop them at the source.